News Extra Time on a Thursday morning. Kevin Mooney with our show. Thank you very much, Steve. Uh, good morning, everyone. Always great to talk baseball when it's snowing. And we got uh, Chuck Heeman here from the Western Nebraska Pioneers. And he's getting ready for this season that's uh, coming up, starts May 25th. They got the new schedule out. Yes, uh, never a bad day to talk baseball. That's so right. Don't look, don't look out the window. Don't look out think, the window. Think baseball, think sunshine. It's uh, great, man. Sunshine and baseball and uh, beer and uh, fireworks and the whole thing that we do. Yeah, we start May 25th. We're going to start on the road. And uh, our, our home opener is going to be May 29th. It's going to be Tuesday night against the Spearfish Sasquatch. Yep. And then you uh, have like a six-game. Yes. Uh, actually, you're home quite a bit there after that for a little while. We and then, do. Uh, and then uh, you kind of play a bunch of games in a row here after having that one off day on right. uh, the 28th. We got 23 in a row. And, yeah. uh, and, and uh, it's not the ideal uh, situation that you want. But on the other hand, the players uh, are here for development. And, and these guys want to get drafted into the pros. And when you get drafted into the pros, this is what you're drafted into. You know, in college you play uh, three, maybe three games a week. But once you sign a pro contract, there's no learning curve there. You're thrown into playing every single day. Yeah. And so that's you know, it's it's I, I'm not not thrilled about 23 in a row, but that's kind of the way the schedule fell. But it's actually a good learning tool for the players. And we have a kind of a unique situation here where all the other teams in the league are sharing a, a field and and we yes. are not. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's eight teams in the league, and the other seven share their fields with the American Legion programs. So this, this has been a process with the schedule because we want to be respectful of those programs. And so what's been going on for the last couple of months now is we get, we get our, uh, the dates from um, all of the other Legion programs in the league. Uh, actually, the scheduling committee is basically myself, our league president, and our VP of operations. So we gather up all these blackout dates is what they're called. The Legion says, I have to play this date. I have a tournament coming in or a team coming in from far away. I have to play this date. So we get the, get all those on a big spreadsheet, and we do the schedule. Then we do it. Then we finalize the schedule. We go back to the Legion programs, and, and invariably somebody says, "Oh, I forgot. We have to play this day, or we have to play that day, or this tournament moved from here." Mm. Perfect example: Casper. They host the Wyoming State Legion tournament every year. Right. It's always the last week of July, except in 2018. It's now the first week of August. So we had planned our whole schedule around this. And then they came back and said, uh, early December, when, when they had their um, state meeting, they moved the tournament. So that changes the entire schedule. So it's, 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 it's a matter of being respectful to our Legion programs around the, around the league. And again, here's uh, the only place where we don't do that, but we also want to be respectful because they play right next door. Very right. seldom do we want to have a situation where we're playing a night and they're playing a night. Right. We want to avoid that. There's a couple in there, but not that many. Okay. Uh, we want to talk about uh, tickets. We uh, always want to be, talk about tickets. We let's talk about tickets. Yeah, we got, well, if, if we don't you sell tickets, people now. don't show up. Here's yeah. the schedule, yeah. Um, I, I got to say, ticket. well, season tickets have been on sale for a while, and those are actually going very well. Um, individual game tickets, there's, there's a couple of ways to go. Our, our, our reserve seating, which is right behind the plate, the fixed back seating, those will go on sale right about April 15th because we want to make sure our season ticket holders are taken care of first. Our bleacher tickets, we're going to put those on sale in January. Our, our computer ticket, our online ticket system is going to be up and running hopefully by January 1st, probably by first week of January with the holidays, where people can go online and buy tickets. But what I want to really talk about with, uh, with that is uh, our fundraising. We, we've been talking a long time here since we got in town about helping people raise money for their own groups. Right. Uh, so our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday games, people can um, get with us. We set up a system where they can buy tickets and keep half the money. Uh, selfishly, it gets people in the ballpark for us, people that may not have known about us. On our first year, we really need that. But it also is a case where somebody can come out and raise three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 in a night for their cause. And it's all done online. It's not a case where you're pre-buying tickets. We set up a, a, a computer link for you. You send it out to everybody you know, and they buy the tickets here. You don't handle the tickets or the money. And it's, 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 you come out on one night, you have some fun. We really play it up for you. You throw out a first pitch and, you know, maybe we'll get somebody. I don't know if KNEB will, will allow somebody to go talk on the radio because I know you have standards on. So, I mean, you let, but then, <laughs> well, you, never well, know. then you let me on. You let me on here. So, but, um, but, but there's, uh, the fundraising part is a really important part of our program. Yeah. So you can get a hold of us and, and we'll do that. But tickets, um, 
season tickets are on sale now, and then individual games will be uh, will be rolled out over the first of the year. Okay, uh, the field looks great. It does. Uh, it looks it like does. they're they're moving on. It does. A little uh, bit. Uh, obviously, we we look at it every day. Our office is uh, over at the Oregon Trail Oregon Trail Days building, um, is right across the field from there, and we look out the window every single day and see the progress. It's it's going very well. And if you go by there, you can see it. The concrete slabs done. The dugouts mm-hmm. are done. The infield's being worked on. They put the rails up. I think the next step is to put the seating in, and then they build the uh, concessions, restrooms, press box structure behind that. It's going really well. So it's going well. All right. Uh, You have new offices here soon? We do. 15th of January, we're going to be moving into, uh, it's at 1414 10th Street. It's uh, right there next to Bell Island's uh, law office and uh, right right downtown Gearing, so it'll be easier for people to find us. Um, It will have, uh, we'll start rolling in some merchandise in the spring, but uh, it's just, we'll need more space, and that was really it. And the Oregon Trail Days people have let us... uh, let us use their office there for a few months now, and they're going to need it for their event. So they've been really kind to us, and we really appreciate it. But we'll be we'll be moving in January, which is always a hoot. All right, you already have a bunch of players. And, we have players uh, too. Players, a we bunch do. Of players already we, ready we, to go. We, we and, do, and 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 then really now is the, the kind of you know we've been recruiting players since we started this thing back in August, but now. They, they'll start playing here in February. And so now's the time when you start following these guys and, oh, this guy looked good back in, back in September. What's he really doing? You know, those guys like there's a, a, a kid named uh, Colin Lug- Ludwig out of Colorado at Colorado Springs, played every game as a freshman last year, hit 345. So you kind of want to see what he's going to do. There's mm-hmm. a, a kid named Nolan Metcalf out of Kansas. Um, they, he's a, he was a, a big, big kid. Uh, he's a catcher, first baseman. And it's, it's a case where they want him to come play for us because he's not going to play a lot as a freshman because they have a senior catcher, but they want him to play a lot as a sophomore. So he'll kind of be on the on Kansas' team this year, come to us, play every day, get him, getting him ready for that. So there's a, a number of guys like that that you just kind of you, you monitor, and, and it's uh, it gets to be a, a you, get, you get obsessed with it, you know, because yeah. you've got you know we've got you know 30 players, and then you kind of are always looking at websites, what this guy did this weekend, and all this stuff. So it's but that's kind of the fun of it now that these guys are going to start playing and actually doing something. All right, all right, Chuck. No, I'm it. looking forward to it. It should That's be a it. lot I'm of fun. On, I'm going to stay on the air all day. I get, I get, I get, to, I get to drive. <laughs> well, if to you're Arizona, driving to Arizona, I get to drive today. to Arizona today. <laughs> so I picked a great day for that. Yeah, uh, you did. So I listen. I appreciate you guys having me on, and I, and I appreciate uh, the partnership we have here at KNB, and I'm really excited to get this thing going. And once we hit the first of the year, it, it and we've been busy behind the scenes, but once it hits, hits first of the year, people are going to see a lot more of us, and yeah. it's going to get really busy. All right, and we're looking forward to having you guys on the air. Well, and, thank you. And uh, it going to be a great partnership. It, it is. We it's gonna, and it's it. going to be fun. That's yeah. the main thing. It's going to be fun for people. That's what, we, that's what we do. We do fun. Yep. All right. Chuck Heeman with the Western Nebraska Pioneers. Great to talk baseball in December.